Hello everyone and welcome to Adobe After Effects for post-production. My name is Adam, I'm a professional designer and video editor based in Casablanca, Morocco, and I've done work for brands such as Wondershare, Flixlip, and Animaker. Currently, I work as a video editor for a news channel and I use After Effects a lot in my post-production workflow. So I said to myself, why not make a class about it? So you're probably asking yourself, why not just do everything in Premiere Pro? So when it comes to rough cutting and moving clips on a timeline, Premiere Pro is a great choice. But when it comes to things like animation of text and videos, After Effects is the best choice. So this client, for example, I work with, they're really picky when it comes to animation. They're like, this is not too fast, this is too slow, this looks generic. So for me personally, if I want to control the keyframes and the speed of the animation, I have to do that in After Effects. So overall, when it comes to visual effects like rotoscoping or masking and animation, After Effects is the go-to software. This class is for beginners, but being familiar with After Effects may really help. So what are you gonna learn in this class? So you will learn the best way to make a round trip between Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, to track moving objects, surfaces, and screens, to professionally replace green screens, black, and white screens, to remove anything that you don't want from your footage, and finally, how you can place the text behind the subject, duplicate it, or even replace any background. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my favorite built-in effects that you can use in your post-production journey. By the end of this class, you will be able to create magic by combining After Effects and Premiere Pro and your video editing workflow. Now, if you're ready, see you in the first lecture.